What is up? It is the Tech Junkie Review here, and we're going to do something um, a little special. This is a gameplay that I I did. I do all my gameplays. Um, if you guys sent it in, uh, sent your gameplays in, if they were good enough, I'd probably showcase them. But um, that I don't think that's something we need to worry about right now, just because I'm still getting things set up. It, it's been a while since I've done anything I know. I have I have a lot of stuff recorded for Minecraft for the Xbox 360. Um, I, it's been a long time since I've uploaded because, one, I was in Texas, so didn't really have any time. I didn't actually have a mic. I had all the time. I took my recording stuff over there. I had everything but a mic that I needed. So I do have some stuff recorded. I can probably... I, I probably I have enough stuff to post daily if I wanted to, but I'm not going to at least yet. I might do stuff once or twice a week now that I'm free. I'm on a free schedule. I do basically just play Call of Duty and record all day long. Um, excuse any sound errors. Sometimes I know like this. It I need a new cable. Like the cable that I use isn't the cable that it you're supposed to use. I just use the composite AV cable. Actually, I use the original HD, the composite HD AV cable, the one that had both. But um, the one that I'm supposed to use for the Roxio is it's just the HD AV where it has the red. The actually, it's like blue, green, and red, and then the two sound. And I don't have that. I have the one that has the composite, the white, red, and blue, with the HD, and I have the other one also, the HD part, but it has three sound inputs, and I only need two of those, because one of them is the video for the, I don't know, it's not the right cable, I, I just know that for sure. I'm probably going to buy one of those pretty soon, but for right now the sound will be messed up I mean you can actually kinda tell in this video that the sounds pretty messed up because sometimes uh, it'll say something faster than it's supposed to and then other times it'll be slower and I think it slows things down or it slows <laughs> cannot talk today um, I think it slows things down just because it has to compensate for the stuff that was sped up and these guys in this part were so mad at me. That guy was so happy to kill me right there. And um, now back on topic. So I found something online um, recently, very recently, called the Ouya. I don't know if all you guys have heard of it. I'm sure somebody has. But it's going to be a droid-powered console that's going to be $99. And I don't know. It, it looks like a promising console. I mean, I haven't seen too much about it and the controller looks pretty neat I mean the controller kind of looks like an Xbox controller with the exception of a touchpad on it not as big as the Wii U's touchpad but it's going to have a touchpad um, so this console we saw it's going to be $99 10 gigabytes 1 gig of RAM and a USB 2.0 it will be a open hackable system and they said that it's going to be easy to hack it so um all the games at first and got there he is ruining my gameplay right there that guy is uh, he's no longer on my friends list let's just say um not for this he kinda like stopped me and my uh, other friend around for a while but um so it's an open hackable system and all the at first all the games will be free to play after that, then developers will start setting price limit, price caps on them and everything. So I'm really looking forward to this console. I mean, it looks promising. It looks like something we want. And honestly, I might get it. It it looks like something worth $99. Um, uh, kind of looks like a GameCube. It's like shape. So, um, just wondering how that's going to turn out. Uh... It needed like 900 and something, 936 thousand dollars, I think, to get started, and it made all that money in one day. So, we are we are gonna see that. Um, not sure when, but I don't know. Um, and small developers like uh, Mojang, 
Mojang said that there, if there is a demand for their games to be put on the console, they will put them on there because open hackable, obviously that means mods will be simple for, like, say, Minecraft. Because Minecraft, big game, modding allowed. But with the Xbox, there's not a big, you know, like, how is modding going to work with the Xbox? Are we just going to, like, download it onto a USB or are we going to have to buy them in the, you know, are we going to have to buy them in the marketplace? So, modding on the Xbox isn't really a big thing right now. We're not going to really know about Minecraft mods for the Xbox for a long time, maybe. Because um, it just got its 1.7 update and a little bit from 1.8. Um, so we have pistons now. But there's not really a lot for that news. So, um, I decided actually I'm not going to go to a different channel. I will stay on this channel just so I have stuff to upload because I do have one video I need to upload and I might not upload that for a while because it's a, a spoiler alert skip the head 20 seconds not to listen to this but I so I um got a new Xbox recently and actually I've gotten two because okay first it was a special edition connect Star Wars bundle and I had that and I used it a lot and actually I used it for like two days so what happened was it actually decided to okay so like it was screwing up the internet in the, in the entire house it was screwing up the entire house's internet and I don't know why that was but it froze like five times in the first day I had it and so we just we just took it back to the Microsoft store the next day and got a new one and I did an unboxing video on the first one and did another unboxing video on the second one to try improving but uh, the second one isn't reading discs at all I'll put the disc in there and it just says reading 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 open tray so I I'm gonna get another one here recently and uh, hopefully this one works and there will be an unboxing video on this one the best of the three will go up but I, I'm thinking this will be a better video. Um, it might not be in 1080p, but you know it's too bad. I kind of lost track of time here, so um, there will should be a new unboxing video up recent pretty pretty soon. And this is the Tech Junkie review, and I am out. Uh, peace.